Yet another time, are you born? Do you put it? That is chapter number four. Video number three is in front of you. Great six signs and energy in day-to-day -day life is in front of you. And we are here to talk about biomass today. So what is biomass? We will understand. What you will learn in this session about biomass and it is its uses. That is right. Biomass and its uses are very important. So let's understand that one with this beautiful chapter lineup. Living materials can produce energy that's in front of you. Think of a wildfire which occurs commonly during drought season. That's in front of you, the wildfire. So this is happening some places like in Australia quite often. Now, controlling of such fire is very difficult because dried leaves catch fire very easily. Such fires release large amount of what? Large amount of heat it is releasing. Now, this proves that living parts can be used to produce energy. Now, when, when we have a wildfire in front of us, we don't think it is an energy. Definitely, it is an energy. From that wildfire itself, we are learning something. That wildfire is burning over there and producing energy. Now, this proves that living parts can be used to produce energy and these are called something and it has a name so such plants or animal materials which can be used as fuel are known as biomass so the biomass is plants and animal materials which that we are using as fuel and that's known as what biomass firewood is one of the commonly used biomass firewood is one of the commonly used biomass and almost all the houses in Sri Lanka they used to have these kinds of stoves and unfortunately we don't have fireplaces in our country yes now other example of biomass are coconut shells every house has got these coconut shells and we can use that and coal is one more biomass now if you're taking these rotten vegetables rotten vegetables hay sawdust rice bran, rotten food materials and agriculture waste all are known as biomass. Now this biomass also contains solar energy because this is vegetables. Now sawdust stove or kudulipa, they used to call kudulipa in Sinhalese and tool adupu in Tamil is one example where biomass is used. You see that one? The sawdust is over there and one tube they have kept it like that you can easily do this one at home you can do that at home and you can help be a helpful person or a helpful child to your mother and father look at this a person is doing that one here rice bran or sawdust is used as biomass you can use rice bran or sawdust to use this in the biomass this is a very simple economical hard earth which can be used to cook meals and to boil water. You can cook meals and boil water in this sawdust kudu lipper. Now let's find example where biomass is used to obtain energy. Now you are going to copy the table uh, such like this into your writing book, complete it with more example like biomass firewood. Instances where it used to obtain energy. Okay where we are using firewood in what right for cooking we are using firewood you can write over here and the boiling water also we are using firewood coal we are using for cooking also hay and sugar can why we are using and waste matter from the kitchen we are using as the biomass in which instances where it is used to obtain energy that you have to write some examples inside these boxes so take out your exercise book copy this and start writing it with the helps of the elder soul sir now we came to know what is biomass and what are the uses of biomass till i meet you again in another session bye bye and take care of yourself